ہیڈ لائنز آپ نے ملاحظہ کی اور ناظرین وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی نے بیلٹ اینڈ روڈ بین الاقوامی تعاون اور کرونا عالمی وبائی چیلنج کے حوالے سے منعقدہ اعلی سطح بین الاقوامی کانفرنس سے خطاب کیا آئیے آپ سے شیئر کرتے ہیں ایکسلنسی مسٹر وانگی اسٹیٹ کاؤنسلر اینڈ فارم منسٹر فیلو فارم منسٹرز ڈاکٹر ٹیڈروس ڈائریکٹر جنرل آف ورلڈ ہیلتھ آرگنائزیشن Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to be participating in this August Forum. Belt and Road International Cooperation Combating COVID-19 with Solidarity is indeed a timely initiative underscoring the imperative of a global response to deal with a raging and insidious COVID-19, which has consumed nearly half a million lives and has infected more than 8 million people. I must congratulate China's leadership on hosting this conference and creating greater awareness about the dangers that the planet is confronting due to the pandemic. My special thanks are due to my dear friend, Mr. Wang Yi, for leading this extraordinary initiative. Excellencies, COVID-19 pandemic has shaken the world. Apart from the medical catastrophe that it has inflicted, it is having a far-reaching political, social and economic impact on the globe. This pandemic has led to economic slowdown, bankruptcies, financial fissures, job losses, and disruption in global supply chains. The IMF in its latest World Economic Outlook report has said that this is the worst crisis since Great Depression and far worse than the 2008 financial crisis. Moreover, economic pressure on individuals, societies and nations is causing social unrest, political instability, threatening the existing order. We need a unity, solidarity and multilateral cooperation to fight this pandemic that knows no boundaries, no religion, and no ethnicity. Excellencies, we must appreciate China for taking extraordinary measures in fighting people's war against COVID-19. It is a war that China has bravely and decisively won under the dedicated leadership of President Xi Jinping and Premier Li. As soon as the virus emerged, China took rigorous and incredible measures to contain it, including imposing lockdown over millions of its residents and across the provinces. To save precious lives of its people, Beijing took measures of isolation and quarantine, launched e-enabled delivery system to ensure supplies of food and medicine and undertook mass testing. To demonstrate its international responsibility, China shared information regarding the virus transparently and swiftly with WHO as well as other countries. Excellencies, at the outbreak of COVID-19 in China, we demonstrated our solidarity with our Chinese brethren. Prime Minister Imran Khan had a telephonic conversation with President Xi Jinping and Premier Li. President Arif Alwi and I visited Beijing to reaffirm Pakistan's solidarity with our Chinese brothers. 
Since the spread of COVID-19 in Pakistan, China has extended tremendous support to Pakistan to fight the pandemic. Chinese government has provided 4 million US dollars in cash donations, in addition to 390 ventilators, 330,000 testing kits, 830,000 N95 masks, 5.8 million surgical masks, 42,000 protective suits, and millions of other PPEs. A team of Chinese medical experts also visited Pakistan on the instructions of President Xi Jinping to assist us to contain the pandemic. The team visited various provinces of Pakistan to strengthen their capacity to fight COVID-19. Excellencies, COVID-19 is also spreading in Pakistan. We are engaged in determined efforts to control its spread. To deal with COVID-19, we have taken a range of measures to protect our citizens. Prime Minister Imran Khan announced a 8 billion US dollars relief package for the most vulnerable people. Prime Minister also launched SARS emergency cash program to help the needy. Program covers 12 million families and each family is being helped with cash transfers to meet their needs. We have put in practice the policy of smart lockdowns while monitoring the ebbs and flows of COVID-19 graph in the country. We constituted a volunteer workforce of 1 million youths dedicated to provide support for monitoring, data collection and to assist administration in enforcement. Many of those rendered out of work due to lockdowns and slowing demand are being re-employed in our ambitious 10 billion tree tsunami project. To strengthen the resilience of our health system, Pakistan Preparedness and Response Plan worth 595 million US dollars has been launched. Excellencies, the Belt and Road Initiative, conceived by President Xi Jinping, is centered on the idea of connectivity, economic development, and poverty alleviation. China Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPAC, is the flagship project of the Belt and Road Initiative. Post-COVID-19, we see BRI and CPEC becoming the hub of trade and economic activity, sustainable social development, and greater people-to-people -people exchanges. Notwithstanding the outbreak of COVID-19, Pakistan and China are taking relevant measures which will help timely completion of CPEC projects that will be a catalyst for growth and prosperity in the region. Excellencies, I propose following course of action. 1. BRI countries should unequivocally declare a united front to combating COVID-19. Against this common enemy, we must close our ranks and forge unity. At this difficult time, it is doubly important that we uphold the principles and percepts of international law, support multilateralism, and squarely oppose all plots to blame stigmatize or ostracize states, races, religions, or communities for the spread of the disease. Two, we must draw lessons and learn from each other's experiences and expertise. China's success 
in containing the virus offers valuable insights. Our epidemiologists, health professionals, hospital managers, research and equipment suppliers must be enabled to network and work together to innovate solutions and build resilience. In this context, Pakistan fully supports the idea of the Health Silk Road and will play its role in its realization. 3. COVID-19 vaccine, as and when it is developed, must be declared a global public good and made available on an equitable basis. 4. The economic impact of the pandemic is just beginning to be felt. More research is needed to determine ways to mitigate its socio-economic effects. Under the framework of SCO, we have already proposed a Centre of Excellence on Poverty Alleviation. BRI nations could take the lead in addressing the economic fallout by pooling research and taking coordinated actions for the promotion and projection of trade and generation of employment. Excellencies, at this time, I want to highlight your attention to the plight of people of Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, which have been under continuous military siege and lockdown since 5th of August 2019. COVID-19 has exacerbated the humanitarian crisis in the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The global community must call upon India to lift the double lockdown and allow excess of international health experts to visit the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir and immediately extend medical help to its residents. Excellencies, defeating COVID-19 would also require effective and urgent economic measures aimed at recovery and growth. We believe that economic recovery and stimulus can be achieved through trade and investment, boosting growth and promoting connectivity. It is therefore time to reinforce our support for BRI, which can advance the shared goals of peace, development and prosperity for all of us. I thank you all for your attention. وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی کا اعلیٰ سطح بین الاقوامی کانفرنس سے بذریعہ ویڈیو لنک خطاب آپ نے ملاحظہ کیا انہوں نے کہا کہ چین کی کرونا کو شکست دینے کی کاوشوں کو سراہنا ہوگا اور چین نے بڑے پیمانے پر پاکستان کی بھی مدد کی اور چین نے جس طرح کی حکمت عملی اور تدابیر کو اپنایا ہمیں بھی اپنانا ہوگا پی ٹی وی نیوز سے یہ تھی تازہ تری